room. The woman in 11B couldn't recline because a man behind her in 12B put a $22 piece of plastic on the seat back to keep her seat from reclining. A source tells ABC News the man refused to remove the gadget, so the woman stood up and threw a cup of water in his face, a face-off that prompted that landing in Chicago where both passengers were removed from the aircraft but not charged. The man was using these. They're called the knee defenders. On this flight, we've enlisted Rick to help us show the frustration when somebody brings their seat back very quickly. That's where these knee defenders come in. You just slide them onto the tray and they sit right in there. And when Rick tries to bring his seat back again, it won't come back. The problem is the airlines don't allow the use of these knee defenders. Knee defenders aren't about getting more space. He should know. He invented the gadget. The idea is to just let the person in front of you know that you're back there. This as your flight is more and more crowded and there is less room. Look at the incredibly shrinking cabin. Carriers are squeezing your leg room. A couple of decades ago, 34 inches in coach. Down now to 32 or 30 inches. Some low fare operators have even cut that to 28 inches all to squeeze in another row. This is all about profit. The problem is we, we as passengers suffer. Already squeezed, but look at this concept seat. You'd